Hello, it's Jeff for Budget PTCG here, and I've updated my Lunatone Soul Rock deck, and I want to go over that with you now. The Pokemon are exactly the same. Uh, Lunatone, for Lunatone, which is the attacker. Again, 30 per plus 30 per psychic energy attached to it, which is good. And then you've got the Soul Rock, which can accelerate one psychic energy to one of your Lunatones once per turn from the discard pile. And then to help draw as well as get energy in the discard pile, we're playing Radiant Greninja. You can only play one of as a Radiant Pokemon. And we're just using the Concealed Cards ability, not the attack here. Uh, concealed Cards, you can discard an energy from your hand, and then you draw two cards. So it gets energy in the discard and helps draw a little bit. Uh, the deck just plays basic Psychic Energy. That's it. I believe I'm playing one more basic energy one more energy than the previous build, but that's not a big change. The big change here is we're now playing Bruno and Welcoming Lantern, where before our supporter was for Professor's Research, which was discard your hand, draw seven. Now we're playing for Bruno instead. And I think the, re the reason behind it is it has nice synergy with Pokestop. Uh, Bruno is a, a, a draw card in that you shuffle your hand into your deck, you draw four cards, but if any of your Pokemon were knocked out during your last turn by your opponent, then you draw seven cards instead. So you're getting seven cards in, in hand most of the time because you, it's a single prize deck, you're getting knocked out most turns. So you get the same number of cards as research, but instead of discarding them, they're going into your hand. And often that is better. Uh, the other reason is because of Welcoming Lantern. Welcoming Lantern is a single strike card, as is Bruno, and it allows, it's an item card, and it allows us to put a single strike supporter from your discard pile into your hand. So you can get a, play a Welcoming Lantern, get Bruno into your hand, and use it. And here's why it it's, works well with this deck, because the Pokestop Stadium is the main engine, a lot of ways, for this deck. So the Pokestop, once during each player's turn, that player may discard three cards from the top of their deck. If a player discarded any item cards in this way, they put those item cards into their hand. So item cards go in your hand, Pokemon go in the discard, energy go in the discard, and stadiums like Pokestop go in the discard, as well as supporters go in the discard. So if you so you can't draw a supporter card this way, but you can draw Welcoming Lantern because it's an item, and then there and then it allows you to get your Bruno from the discard pile. So it, it, it makes it easier to get your supporter per turn. The rest of the cards are fairly similar, a few differences, but uh, a f fairly similar build to before. As I, the, the main difference is going to Bruno instead of research. And I think the deck works a little better. So we'll, I'll, we'll jump into the ladder and see the deck in action. So looking for my opponent now, uh, we'll see what type of, who, what, who I go up against. The, with this deck, the Lunatone deck, you want to go second. So I always have to remind myself that because the habit is most decks want to go first in standard these days. I want to go second. So I got to make sure I don't just automatically hit go first if I get the choice. Um, and and you, most since my opponent, if they win the coin toss, which they did in this case, there's a good chance I'll go second. So, yep, my opponent chose to go first, which most people do. Uh, so I get to go second just like I wanted. So we each have a mulligan. Uh, we'll see what we get. So I have two soul rock, not perf ideal, but that's okay. My opponent is playing, all right, fighting and lightning. I got, so we'll see what I'm up against. So just obviously make one Soul Rock active. There's no reason to ever bench any more Pokemon than that. I can't get hand my hand will not get disrupted on my opponent's first turn. I'm gonna need to switch into a Lunatone to attack. Alright, it's Arceus, so they had the fire and lightning. So it could be playing Rayquaza. Could have Alright, so I right now, let's see, do I have a Pokemon? I do not. Three energy, Welcome to Lantern, Pokestop, Trekking Shoes. So this is a really, really bad start. So play the Soul Rock so I don't lose this turn. Attach to the active. And I'm just going to pass. So we'll see what happens. That was a really bad first turn for me. The deck is a little inconsistent, although i got to say it's usually starts this bad aren't common for it. So they have 
they're going to, I imagine, get the V-Star, and that will allow them to use the V-Star power to search for any two cards they want. So they will get set up this turn. I have a bench Pokemon, so I don't, I won't get knocked out. Getting Marnied, which is probably a plus in this case. My hand was not particularly good. These are resources better for later in the game. These aren't the, weren't the resources I wanted to start the game. So I got a Bruno and a Pokestop energy. That's pretty good. So I don't mind getting knocked out here. I can use my Bruno f to draw seven cards. I, I'll throw it and I have Pokestop, so I'll have to think through the sequence of what I do here. So they're accelerating to Rayquaza. Yes, a Rayquaza deck. Which is gonna be t it's gonna be tough to knock one shot of Rayquaza V Max. So this could be a difficult matchup for me. Lay down the Pokey Stop. What do I have? I have one energy in this card. Yep, I'm gonna discard another energy. Get a I'll get a Lunatone. Do I wanna get the Greninja down? That's I I'm gonna do that with this play. I'm not I'm not Overly confident. Then do I Bruno first or after? I'm gonna Bruno. I'm gonna Bruno first. I, and I'm not sure if I don't get a net. I'm gonna have to. All right, good. So I've got two energy. So that's that's quite good. All right, I'm gonna be able to attack. And it's not great, but it's okay. Use trekking shoes. Sure. I don't know what how much it matters with that. So I don't need a Bruno. I have a Bruno in hand. All right, that's a good play. So I will accelerate. So I'm going to do some damage. Um, they may just share and scare their Arceus away, so I don't want to push that damage level. I am going to net the active. Uh, I can, hmm. I mean, I could have attached and then saved the net for a later turn. Which might using the nets is is a very big decision with this game, and then I just want to get down another Lunatone for next turn probably, um, and I'm going to attach to Lunatone I think because I'm assuming the bench Lunatone sorry, and I'm just going to attack. See what happens here. I'm not overly confident with my situation, I gotta say. Arceus is always difficult in and of itself because I it's not easy to, to one shot and it can heal with it can Sharon's care itself away. Eh, Marnie, I had a good hand, but Pokey stops in play. So if that stays there, I'm not feeling too bad. If they bump my stadium, things are much worse. Alright, I have a rescue carrier. No Magna Basin. Alright, so they're gonna accelerate energy to a fire. Uh, no, they're not. Oh, well, that's actually pretty... That was not the play I expected, and I'm liking that. So I should be able to knock out the Arceus this turn. Um, and then I'll be even on prizes. Uh, it's still going to be difficult to get through the Rayquaza VMAXs. But right now they're just Vs. I have a Pokemon Catcher, too. I want to get rid of him. 160, so I'm going to need... 6 times 3, 180, so I might need 5 energy, which... Can I do that? I don't know. Let's see what we got here. I I can get knockout. I do believe so. Two. Three. Four. Five. Yes, I do believe I get the knockout. So I want both soul rocks. I believe. Might as well. I could have got the lunatone, but I have a lunatone in hand, so. All right, five. I'll throw him down. He doesn't do me any good because I can't use him. Five. One, two, three, four, five. So that's five plus one is six. So I should have knockout here. So that is good. Yep. So got the 180 damage, which is which I needed with that. The way I calculate out the damage for the Lunatone, it's 30 plus 30 Per, per 
her energy attached, psychic energy. So if I have five energy, I add five plus the one for the 30 to six. So six times three is 180. If I had a choice belt, I would then just add another, add, increase it by one more to seven, which seven times three would be uh, 210 if I had had a choice belt. So they play Karamatic. They don't have the VMAX, so that's pretty good for me. I wonder if they don't play the VMAX. All right, so I had the Lunatone down, so promote him. So I need one, two, three, four. All right, let's see what I can do here. Look, so I may, and I have choice belt, so four, one, two, three as I count. Sorry, I count along, but this is what I got to do for this deck. Keep track. Four, I have five, six. Uh, it will play. I don't need energy in hand. Let's see what I get. I don't want energy fuel is a useful card, um, but I don't need it here. So now I have five, six, seven, and I Bruno for my seven card, which is good here. I'm going to throw him down. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven times three is two ten. All right, and they can see because I had knockout. I was, I was, I know I, I tried not to be too slow, but I did want to double check to make sure I had knockout. So I had knockout there, and he didn't like the odds of what was happening. And it was actually pr pretty good. I had knockout there, and I was in a position to probably take out the next Rayquaza of the next turn if it was just a V. So look for another deck. So there we go. Beat a. Uh, you know, a VMAX deck, a deck that in a lot of ways may be considered a better deck, certainly a more expensive deck, but uh, Lunatone Sarok is, it's a good deck. It's, it's a solid deck. Like, oh, let's make sure I say no. I don't want to go first. Uh, I, I got to fight that instinct. So I take a mulligan. My opponent does not. So they'll get at least one extra card. They'll see what I'm playing, but I'm not so worried about that. Um, they have to choose their starting Pokemon before they see my Mulligan. Now they they that was a just as a tip here. First first off, they're going first. There's really no reason that you should want to bench extra Pokemon before you start. It's unlikely that things would change for them probably, but you still there's no need to do that. And also they don't know what I'm playing yet, so they might not even want those Pokemon to be benched because it, it wasn't until after they played their act, their starting Pokemon, they saw my my hand, and I think that was before, that was after they saw those cards they benched. Although I can't be sure about all the sequencing. So that's I have Pokestop, I have Radiant Greninja, I should be able to take a knockout. Let's see what I get here. I want the Soul Rock into hand, so that's okay. Radiant Greninja, get rid of an Energy one. So I can get two energy on my active. I'm going to play Pokestop here. What did I get? Okay, so now what I have, I have two energy there, which is just what I need. I just need my three energy to attack because that does I do 120 damage. And that is more than enough for the knockout. Um, I do allow them to play a Raihan if they wanted to by that move, but let's so I'll attach, bench him so I don't have to use a scoop up not unnecessarily, and I think I just I just attack at this point. You don't. One of the things with this deck is you want to obviously get enough to get, make the knockout whenever possible, but you don't want to unnecessarily use your resources, and that's a big part of where playing this deck well comes in. Um, I, I the, the win rate, like in tournaments, isn't that high for the deck, and the deck's not as good as obviously like Arceus and Palkia, but the deck is pretty good. I think it's being played by people. It's a bu very budget-friendly deck, so it's probably often being played by less experienced players. So, But if, if you play well, you can get decent results out of it. Certainly on the ladder, you certainly can. And I think even in an online tournament, you could make it. You, it's a viable deck there. I, I haven't tried it in that environment yet, but but I may. But again, you don't like. I didn't use my scoop up in that last turn because I, I save it for a turn where I need the damage, um, and things like that. Don't play Pokemon Catcher again. Save it. 
if I had an extra energy, I could have attached extra energy to the bench Pokemon, but I, that wasn't an option that turn. So uh, I didn't, but attach, but getting extra energy on the bench Pokemon is often a plus. So they're playing down path, bump my stadium, which hurts my engine, and it shuts off my Radiant Greninja. But I do have uh, Pokestop in hand, so I'm okay. They, they might marinate me. No, nope, they're researching. Um, and they have, because they didn't need to melanate that turn, they had their two energy. Uh, and they're actually, the pro now the problem I'm going to have is they're doing enough damage to knock me out with their first attack. Um, so, and they're always going to be able to do that, basically. I'm going to have enough bench Pokemon. Even with three Pokemon, it's 30, 60. No, it does 100 damage, which knocks me out anyway. So I will... Pokestop. All right, how do I want to sequence this? I will do Pokestop, see what I get. Got a welcoming lantern. That is very nice. So... I'm not going to get the knockout. That's pretty much a guarantee. Do I want to hit into... I think I want to hit in with as much damage as I can this turn. Oh, I don't have a Bruno in the discard, do I? So... Um, all right, so I'm, I want to draw with this guy. Discard my energy. I have options. Uh, okay, so no Bruno, unfortunately. I could attach to active. I could discard, too. I, I, I do need to... All right, I'm going to get rid of the energy. Get a soul rock down. I'm going to accelerate to the active. I, so I want to try to, to knock out a bench Pokemon. I don't think I do. I think I just want to hit into the active here. Um, do I want to discard something? I think I do. I'll get rid of a welcoming link. I like those, but I have one already. So I do want to Lunatone down for next turn. I think that's the better play. Think about next turn, not this turn. Do I, I could get one more energy into play with my fog crystal. I'll do that this turn. I, I'm because I have an attach per turn. So do I want to attach to the active or the bench? I get I'll attach to the active because I think this is just and I just hit into it and we'll see what happens for next turn. 150 damage. So I need right now I need five energy. We'll do 180 damage next turn, which gets the knockout. Uh, if they attach a big charm, then I need one more. All right, so Temple of Sino doesn't hurt me because that one, Special Energy just becomes one colorless with no other effects, but I only play basic. They know that. They're really just bumping my Pokestop, which I do like that. So that that's two down. I, ha I play four in total. I don't know what their stadium count is. They, they probably, they would have played the um, Path of the Peak if they had it, I imagine, because that shuts off my Greninja. Um, so let's see, I have three down. So right now I can get four energy on my active. And that might be all I can do. And then, I, and I, then I'm coming up short because I have Soul Rock, Soul Rock, Soul Rock ability, a net I can do a fourth one, so that's four. So I'm doing 150 and coming up 20 short, which would be very, I'll be very sad if that's the case. And that, so we'll see. It's a matter of what, what do I top deck. They're searching a lot. All right, thinking about it. Quick ball. Um, so they have Drizzle, so they haven't got Inteleon. Now the Inteleons can attack and knock me out also, which they might want to do at some point. Um, we'll see what they do. Uh, if they play Raihan on the deck, then they can Raihan an energy to an Inteleon and knock me out with a one prize. Or plus does 20 damage to the bench. I don't think that's going to be meaningful. All right, that is probably a good thing. Since I don't have Bruno, um, it's probably going to be better for me to see f four cards, four new cards. Mm, might not be. I, oh, actually, yes, I, I have knockout next turn on the active. 
guaranteed with what I have now because I had these three. So I get three energy. I can scoop for a fourth energy, and I can recover with energy retrieval. My last deck did not play energy retrieval. I think it's a really good addition because late in the game, you don't want to use burn them early, but late in the game, they're very useful. It's an item card, so Pokestop gets it into your hand, doesn't discard it, and you put two energy from the discard into your hand. Or, um, I don't know if it's... Yeah, I guess it has to be two. I guess I don't have the option to just do one. Um, I thought I could do one if I wanted to, but it doesn't appear, at least the way it's phrased now. This is an older copy. Maybe they changed it in the newer newer version, and therefore it's been eroded to saying that, because I think I can just get one. The, the, the idea is, I get, by it having a, an energy to attach, that's 30 more damage, and late in the game, when most of your energy is in the discard pile, it is a big plus to be able to get one enhanced. So can I get the knockout here? And I think the answer is yes. Hmm. I, let's see. Do I have any Pokemon there? I, okay, I'll take him. Um, all right. I'm not loving the way this game's going, i got to say. So I'm going to be... Okay, I have the knockout, just barely, but I have it, and that should, I mean, I'd go well ahead in prices. One, three, I scoop up one of these guys, don't scoop up the Greninja, nor the active, that'd be bad. Four, I will bench him so I can, I don't need to switch into the active next turn put up to two, so I think I want to take both of them, because he's going to get knocked out, I'm going to get a lot of energy in the discard pile, so there's no reason not to get two into my hand, um, I'll just, and I'll just do that, I could discard with him, but I don't think I want to, so I'll just attack, I have knockout, that worked out well. I get three prizes, so now I'm down to oh, that's, I always have I have a pattern where I start in the upper left corner, and and work my way, kind of left to right, top to bottom, d to go down. Um, it's the opposite of IRL. IRL IRL play you normally take the the one closest to you, which is the bottom right corner, and then work up. But f since it's on the computer, I think of it, I think of it differently. I gotta say. Now, the decision I had that turn was I could have used Radiant Greninja's ability that turn. I didn't do that, so he's... Um, I don't know if I should have done that or not. Let's see, I haven't used any Pokemon Catch, but I saved it because I can use it this turn. That, that was my thinking. I could attach this energy if I want to. I can use Gradient Greninja's concealed cards if I want. I'll see what I get. I still haven't hit a Bruno yet, and that is really... I mean, that's really surprising that I've gone this far without hitting a Bruno. There's one in the prizes, as I saw. I, and I didn't draw it, unfortunately. So the, one of the last two prizes of Bruno, um, which it actually could be a plus. I may want to... All right, so they're going to start quick shooting. I don't... Th if if I if I take, like, a, enough a lot of turns to get through the Ice Rider... They could get me with that, but right now he can only do one quick shooting per turn. He's at least two turns right now from getting the Sobble there. So let's see what, how, what he does here. Um, he can knock out a Soul Rock at, at 90 HP. I, I, he might do that to, to shorten the game. But I often do play net. I do play net, and I have three still in the. D I have a lot of good cards in the deck still. I just need to top. I need to top deck something good though. I would really like a Bruno. But we'll see. Our right, Pokestop is a plus two. Um, I've got two of those in the discard. The other two, I don't believe one was in my prizes. So there's two in the deck. So there's a good number of cards that I'd like to see that I'd be happy with top decking. So it looks like going to Marty me. And again, it's not a great hand. I mean, the choice belt is nice, um, but I didn't want to play it because I didn't need it last turn. Well, I tell you, I don't think I had it, did I? I think I might have had a surprise. The other reason not to play it, like on the bench, is they may play, very well play Tool Scrapper 
and then I lose it. So yeah, I don't want to generally play the choice belt until I'm going to use it. With the professor's research build, I, 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 since I could research it away. All right, what do I do? Let's see what I get here. I might want to go after the Italian if I have the option. All right, so I will see. Hit trekking shoes first. I no, I, I I'm gonna I want to see another card. All right, didn't matter there. Not loving this, I gotta say. Uh, I will do this. Get rid of an energy. Not great. Not great at all. I might as well, I, partly just to get rid of this. So, Bruno, catcher. <sighs> all right, so. I could get my fourth Luna Tone down, but I don't think I want to do that, do I? Hmm. It's very awkward here. So three. So I do want to get a. I think I want to get another Luna Tone down for next turn. So I will get pull up two Luna Tone. I probably just att I attach energy to the active. I don't think I want to play the choice belt. I think I want to sit on that. Well, I might lose the hand this turn. So I think, I think, I think. So I'm going to play choice belts this turn and, uh, and just hit into them. So 180, because this way I, I can one sh I have a good chance of one shotting that I mean not of finishing him off without a choice belt this next turn. So I just need to do 140 or 150 based on the math on this car this card on the attack. So I need four energy on it, and I without without a choice belt. So I think I increase the odds of knocking him out this turn. Obviously, I can get game through knocking out Ice Rider. They can't. They can knock out my active, but that should be it. They shouldn't be able to knock out a two Pokemon. So I now that okay, they need to it because they had to. Now that doesn't make sense. Four energy there. I I would think they should be attaching to an Intellion on the bench. Um, so they they'll knock this guy out next turn. So sixty. So ping ping, and I'm knocked out. But if I have net. I get rid of that damage, and actually, if I get net, I win the game. So I have a, I still haven't gotten a, a Bruno this game, which is very unusual. Make him active. I, ha I have a good chance of winning. Let's see. Um. So I will. I think I have game here, right? Let's. I I will get rid of. Rescue Carrier, get my Lunatone. Actually, I don't have game, do I? Yeah, this really stinks. Really stinks here. So, let's see what I do. So, I'm going to attack three. Actually, I have one, two, three, four. So, if I... He's 150, not 160, so I can knock him out. One of those Inteleons give me a heads. Yes, that is nice. So they don't actually get the knockout uh, with the Inteleons this turn. I don't see. Did I get greedy with this play? That's a good question. So I will just uh, take the knockout. Um, the other Inteleon play has 160 HP, I'm pretty sure. I can take them. And, and therefore, I couldn't have got the knockout that turn. Let's see if he's got any of that in the discard. does not. So, um, so now I can... But now he can't knock out this Soul Rock this turn, so which actually that was a good play because... Uh, he would have had game otherwise. So if I didn't hit heads there, I would have lost. Um, no, actually, I would have had game, did, didn't I? Did I mess up? I think I did. I, I could have knocked out the Ice Rider. Oh, uh, well, we'll see what happens here.
not am I just being stupid here? Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. Um one, two, three, four, five, e okay. Yeah, I guess I had game that turn. I I was just stupid. I was stupid. But I win anyway, I believe. So this is where you can... I, I completely messed up last game, but I think... I'll look back at the recording, I guess, to say 4. So it does 5. Nice retreat. Get 140. And knock him out. I could have knocked him out last turn because I did the same amount of damage last time. All right, uh, so there we see the deck in action. Uh, won two games against against good decks. Ice Rider is certainly a solid deck. Uh, Arceus decks are always solid as well. So uh, so Lunatone, or Lunarox, I've called it, because it's, you know, com combining the names. It's a good deck, and I think with the Bruno, it makes the deck better. So uh, take care.